So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! She spit in my face! Here we have our favorite frauditor, Glenda, who wanders around City Hall in Redmond, Washington. And when he doesn't quite get the reaction that he wants, he leaves. But he spends 26 minutes there trying to provoke someone into an argument. Ha ha ha! Poor Glenda. Oh, and by the way, Glenda. Hey, don't forget, Mr. Serio. I'm exposing you for the racist, bigoted, misogynistic pig that you are. And I don't care if I ever make a dime on these videos on YouTube. Because I've always included your racist rants, which you have now taken down from your channel. Ha ha ha! Isn't that coincidental? took down the rants about you being a racist. Oh, how lovely. Enjoy the video. Hello. What's that? How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. I'll just check it out the facility. Take note of the pleasantries that the frauditor uses in an attempt to be cordial with the young woman at the receptionist's desk. But we all know that's not his true nature, and soon his jack wagon personality will emerge. Stay tuned. A few minutes later. No, I'm just taking some pictures. Checking for what? Uh, just uh, record of people that and I don't need to. Okay. Is that a requirement? I couldn't quite make out what the lady said, but since she's wearing a mask and everyone else is wearing a mask and Glenn is not, that's probably what the conversation is about. What do you think about that, Glenn? Oh, is that like a law? It's against the law. Oh, what law is that? Okay. Funny, because I've never heard about that. So it's not like a requirement? It is? No, because nobody said nothing to me. So. Wait a minute, Glenda. What did you just say? Nobody said nothing to me. Nobody said nothing to me. I thought you were an English major. Let's roll that clip. I've actually studied English and uh, I have a, over a 400 level education in English. So. <laughs> If you want. Okay. Wow, look at that strong, manly image reflected in the glass. Glenn, you're looking rather slim there. Have you lost about two pounds? I understand that food at the men's shelter isn't all that good. But keep your head up, buddy. Things will get better. Not. Hello. Have you been helped? Yeah, I'm not really looking for service. I'm just taking some pictures. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. You want to check the door and make sure it's locked? What's that? You check it a third time, maybe? This is what frauditors do best, and Glenda is no exception. They try to provoke someone into making a negative reaction, although this man is not going to fall for it. So sorry, Glenda. Oh, you're going to need a safe space now, sweetheart. The door. <laughs> it seemed like you were making sure it was locked. Just want to uh -oh. maybe check it one more time. No, I think we're good. Oh, okay. I think we're good. I'm sure people watching this video can hear Glenn snorting like a pig. All that heavy breathing. My God, man, lose some weight. You're going to die at a young age. The guy's only 35 years old. I don't think he's going to make it to 50. <laughs> That's a shame because I'm going to miss his videos. Much later. Hey, do you need some help? No, just taking pictures. Of what? City Hall? Yeah. Okay, what's your name? Why would I give you my name? Well, I 
it's kind of odd to have somebody coming in here taking just taking pictures. I don't know what's odd about that. What do you got going on? Are you with a just a citizen taking pictures? I I don't think I need to explain myself to you, do I? Certainly not, Glenda. You don't need to explain yourself. You can't explain yourself. The doctors tried to figure it out at birth, but they couldn't explain it. Why should you be able to? Shut your mouth. Well, well, public building, right? It's a public building, yeah. Okay, so anyone's. It just seems odd to have people taking pictures of our city hall without. I don't any... think I don't think it's odd, but okay. that's everyone's. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, right? So like. Sure. If you believe it's odd, that's your opinion, right? That's that, that's just my opinion. Right. Are so, you maintenance or something? No, I'm a supervisor here. Oh, you're not dressed like a supervisor? I'm a supervisor for uh, inspections. Oh, okay. Shouldn't you be wearing like a suit and tie? Oh, a suit and tie. Oh, you mean like the one that you wore to court at one time in Evergreen, Washington, where you couldn't tuck your shirt in because your stomach's so big? Oh, I didn't mean to say that, Glenn, because I normally, I don't fat shame people. Let's just take a look at the picture. I do apologize. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's pretty casual. I thought it was more formal, but no, hey. it's not. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yep. Much, much later. And you do need a mask to be inside. Oh, you have you need a mask? I yeah. wasn't told that. Okay, yeah, it's on it's posted on the door. Okay, well, it's too late now, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe next time. <laughs> hey Dimwit, I enhanced that audio of your encounter with the woman upstairs and she did mention something about a mask, so shut your mouth. Anyway, what are you doing here? You're doing nothing. All you do is take up space and you're an oxygen thief. Stop stealing our oxygen. Are, are they training for CPR or something? So this is um, just a, a regular internal meeting, it looks like. Okay, cool. All, all uh, paramedics or firefighters? Uh, I don't know. Probably. Mostly fire staff. Yeah, it looks like fire stuff, yeah. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, thank you. Appreciate thank it. You. As the city worker walks away to get Glenda a mask, Glenda avails himself of trying to provoke someone in the classroom. Let's take a look at that. This is what frauditors do, especially Glenda. He hangs out right in front of someone's face until he provokes someone into a negative reaction. That's all he does. That's all he's good for. He can't hold a job. He was fired from his job. As a matter of fact, he collects welfare from the state now. Don't you, Glenn? Oh, yes, indeed. I wonder if he pays taxes on his YouTube earnings. We'll have to look into that. Oh, okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Trying to grab one. Okay. Well, yes, you just to conduct your essential business. Yeah, I'm just taking Only pictures. Right yeah, just taking pictures, yep. So the city worker was kind enough to give Glenda a mask, and the captain from the fire department has come out to find out what the problem is. So this is a good time to roll that racist clip of Glenn. I know everybody wants to see it. Here it is. Stand by for racial slurs that have no place in our society. Exactly. Fuck you, Nick. I didn't say and that. And then you said That's it again. That's not true. Fuck you, Nick. That's not true. I, I precisely That's remember not that. That's not true. Can I help you? No, just taking pictures. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's kind of been a little distracting to our, our personnel, so if you could, if you're just taking pictures, I'd appreciate it if you could take pictures elsewhere. They don't have to look at me, they can look the opposite direction, you know, if they want, you know. Well, if you have business here, great. If you don't have business, I'd, I'd really appreciate it if you could move on. It's a public building. I have all the right to be here just as much as you. Uh, yeah, that's true, but right. I'm still asking you to be considerate. And, and I prefer not to, yeah. Did you hear what the man just asked him? 
I prefer if you be considerate. And Glenda says, I prefer not to be. That's because he's a racist piece of garbage. Let's roll one more clip so you can see what I'm talking about. You work for me. You are my slave. You work for me. I brought you from Africa, you motherfucker. I brought you from Africa, motherfucker. You are my bitch. You prefer not to be considerate? I prefer not to okay. uh, listen to unlawful demands. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm asking. I, I never. I did not demand anything. Well, I mean, you kind of told me to leave. I mean, that was well, that was rude. You know, that was rude. I didn't tell you. And I don't have a, your fire, right? I didn't tell you to leave. I said. It would look, look, I don't have a problem with firefighters. I think you guys save lives. Okay, you're not like police where you kill people. Okay. I'm not here to argue with you, sir. I I'm not here to argue with you either. Okay. okay? You are there to argue, Glenn. That's all you do. That's all you do. And you always say there's no expectation of privacy in public. Let me hear it from your own mouth, Glenn. Go ahead, tell us. There's no expectation of privacy in public. Okay, I if, if they're not unhappy, they can leave. You know, sorry. Okay. We're about done okay. A little longer than a few minutes later. So here we have one final victim of the day. This man politely asked, why are you recording me? And of course, Glenn has his smart ass answers. Oh my God. Can someone please stuff a dirty sock in this man's mouth and shut him up? Can I ask you why you're recording? <clears throat> What's that? Can you ask, can I ask why you're recording? Sure, you can ask. A city employee? Uh, are you? I don't need to answer that. So why would I have to answer you? Pardon me, sir, but the blubbering buffoon is not a city employee. As a matter of fact, he's unemployed, living on food stamps and welfare, and income from his pitiful YouTube channel. Oh, uh, please give him a break, sir. He's just homeless and hungry. Well, the gentleman complained to the receptionist, but she most likely told him to ignore the dim-witted bird brain because that's what he is. Yeah, I posted this video because it's 30 minutes of absolutely, positively nothing. Glenn couldn't provoke the reaction he was looking for, so he left. And look at the date up there on the bulletin board. This video was recently posted within the last week, and I'm posting this to show that Glenn's channel is dead. There's nothing to see on his channel anymore. Is this the best he can do? Now remember, Glenn, if you want to copyright strike this, you're well within your means to do it. Doesn't mean you're going to win, but I'll file a lawsuit on you. And you may not have much, but you have income from this YouTube channel. And we can certainly attach that money in a court of law. So think carefully about it, buddy. No doubt. Hey, if everybody likes what they see on my channel, please subscribe because I'm going to take this guy to court. I'm not done with him yet. He's a frauditor. He's a frauditor, and he deserves to go to jail. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that.